right in this video i'm gonna show you exactly how to kickstart your fitness journey the exact things i did to be able to get my fitness journey up to par now um i was in the same show i was in the same boat a couple of years ago like two three four years ago i wanted to get fit. people laughed at me even my mother said to me when i was going to 300 level that's a year three or third year uh that i will probably get fat and i did my two laps were capping together <laughs> When I'm walking, like I couldn't walk comfortably. And then I knew there was a problem. I need to change something. Then that brings me to step one. You need to identify and say, yes, I've got a problem. I need to solve the problem. It was first step. If you don't know you've got a problem, there's no solution that could work for you because you're not even searching for a solution. So first thing you identify and say to yourself, make the decision that I need to take the next step. Now, when you've done that, the next step is what do you then do to get fit? There are two ways to get fit. Is that you work out at home or you work out at gym or you do things that imitate workout or working out or fitness. I'm saying swimming, playing football, uh, kickboxing, tai chi, any physical activity, all those can get to you fit and to your fitness level. And I would quickly, I want to quickly mention that fitness is the all Overall, ball game of fitness is move more, eat less. You would get ripped. It's as simple as that. Literally, it's very, very much as simple as that. Move more, you get fit. So now once you've identified to go to the gym or to work out at home or hybrid to do both of them, the next step literally is if we're at the gym, what workouts are you doing and what uh, workout are you doing in the gym as well? Now, quick story. Uh, when I started my fitness journey, of course, I didn't have any money. I was I was a kid. I had no idea what I was doing. I was probably like 14 years old as of that time. Literally. Really. <laughs> then I started downloading apps on um, Google. I was using Android then. I started downloading apps on Google Play. Uh, home fitness. And uh, most of them, there was a 30-day plan. There's the 12-week program. There's just different types of varieties out there. But the problem is, one, most of them were extremely difficult and I was just starting. I couldn't even do two push-ups and one of them was asking me to do 15 push-ups on the first level. <laughs> so, that was a big challenge and constraint because then when you, when you push yourself too hard, this is another problem, when you push yourself too hard, you won't be able to replicate. Like, the next day, you will feel too, too, too tired to keep it up or to continue going giving your current level. So if you are doing 1,000 push-ups and you are just starting your fitness journey, you're setting yourself up for failure, start little, start with what you can, your body can take, or push yourself a little bit more, and then you keep going. So I was downloading applications on Google Play and trying all sorts and nothing worked. Nothing worked. Now I was getting fit. I was getting toned. But I wanted, I wanted to get bigger, I wanted more mass. I was getting toned, but at a very slow rate, with extreme hard work, which was not practical. I would say for myself, I mean, might be practical for another person, but for myself, that wasn't practicable. Uh, I tried it. I did it for what four months, and um, on and off days, I wasn't consistent. And uh, then I started seeing progress. Like, of course, my legs were no more clapping together, <laughs> but then it wasn't sustainable. Like my off days were getting more than my the days I was working on. And then I got to like decide that okay, I need something else. I started browsing, searching and searching and searching for and I couldn't find. Uh, and this went on for years. Even when I started my masters, when I finished university, like this particular stage and process moved on for so long. Till I got to the uh, UK because I'm doing a PhD now when I was doing my masters till I started that and I started going to gym itself now when I got to the gym once again same problem nothing to do I don't know what I was doing I did I literally had no idea what I was doing I got to the gym did walked around even I felt so 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 out of place did not feel like I was in the right place because everyone felt so professional everyone was doing some interesting workout and <laughs> I had zero clue. Then I paid 
I paid the personal trainer. I told him I've not got money. Can we organize a deal in which I pay you 100 pounds a month? And all you have to do is just come up with a plan for me. So you meet with me once and then you come up with a plan that I can follow. Because I saw it very impractical having a PT every session. Like, <laughs> once again, that's personally. I saw it very, very impractical. Because when, why is he, why is he there? If he's taught me what to do, he showed me what to do. And uh, every time I go to the gym, I'm able to do that. So why on earth? Am I, like, it's just going to be there watching me carry with that. So I thought it's fit that come up with a plan for me, assess my my level and whatnot, what I'm able to push and get that done. Then I'll work with that. And every month I would do a review with you, like one day, whereby you would work out with me. That would not work out with me, like you would PT me, like personal train, personally train me. And uh, we'll scale it up from there. And we did that. <laughs> We did that and uh, it worked. It was The thing worked for a few, a few months. I think I did that for, that was in August 2020, 2020. And I did that from August till January when I traveled back home. And then he, he wrote a home workout for me that I could do. But then it was jarring. It was too, 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 too. Once again, too tough. And uh, if you tell him, like, if I tell my personal trainer to suit off, amazing guy. Then that was in PO gym in uh, Edinburgh. When I tell him it was, it's too difficult, it just drops drops down the weight. And like, personally, I feel, mm, I'm not going to get the results. And bear in mind, all this while, I was getting fit about, I still felt like shit. I still felt unfit. My stomach was still extremely big. My chest was still, were still bobs, literally. No, but of course, I, I noticed now that this was working. But then the repeatability was extremely hard because then I was juggling it with a job. I was working at the restaurant then and juggling it together. It was bare torture. Moving forward from that, I just stopped in its entirety and I got way, 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 way fat. <laughs> I got extremely fat. Like you could see my cheeks like all the way up to this point, this all the way up to this point. And then, uh, once again, we went back to step one, making a decision that I need to get fit. <laughs> then I made more and more intense study on home workouts, literally. And then I found something that worked for me. It was one of these applications, still an application. It worked for me. But then, because I've had experience with going to the gym and working out at home, I was able to carve out a workout plan because the application was very, very much flawed, but it worked very much flawed. It does not tell you when to move up. It does not tell you, it just gives you the, uh, gives you the levels and that's it. Like, just gives you the workout. So I was able to decide, okay, this is my pain tolerance. This is what, what will push me to keep going. This is when I need to move on to the next level. So I worked out the decision matrix of climbing up the next, <laughs> the next level. And that began to work for me. You need to know it's a personal journey. I knew this was a personal journey. And then I started working out in my room. And when I started working out in my room, then I started looking for things to keep me on track. Because when you start working out in your, <laughs> when you start working out in your room, you need to be on track as well. Always, always then monitoring you. You need a system in place to hold you accountable. Now the application does not hold you accountable. Now I needed something to hold me accountable. I'm able to push myself by itself. Like, I don't need any reminder. Oh, you've not worked out today. But then to push me to the next level, I started putting my, uh, just putting my workouts online. But that was what worked for me. So you have to figure out what works for you. So I putting my results online with some motivation. You know, everyone does with some motivation, um, music and quotes. That was my first strategy. Even with social media, that was my first strategy. <laughs> and then because I was doing that, I kept turning up and then that opened my brain widely to the third step. So the first step, you have to decide that you need, you need to change. You need to work out. You make the decision Then you need to decide home or, home or gym, which one do you want? Then you need to decide what workouts you're going to do. Then to the next one, which is probably the most important one, consistency. 
you have to corn up. Because when I was turning up and turning up and turning up, I was eating shit all this while. But guess what? Because I was moving more, I wasn't, I did not change what I was eating, but I was moving on. And because of that, started getting proper out tuned. Literally. And I, I remember then I was working with a friend of mine. And then she held, <laughs> she was just a friend. And she held my, you know, like, the ladies put their hand in, like, your hand, like, couple, couple like we both, because we're not couples. She was just a very good friend of mine. And she felt my biceps, but she was like, oh, someone's been working out all my days. I felt so good that day. But then I knew, of course, the work has to be done consistently. So I kept going, like, throwing it and going back and going back. And then that's still working for me. Till, of course, there's just so much you could do at home because that's just the only place you're doing it. You get bored, like, because the environment is not changing and whatnot. So I started going back to the gym. Now, the home workout I was doing, I've gotten to the level of, it was tough. I've gotten to that tough level because I'm, I'm ascending, I'm getting better and getting better and getting better. So once again, I went back to the gym. Because now my editor was saying, oh, we need better footage, yeah, footage. like, yeah, the home workout is cool, but we need one from the gym. Like, we need the gym, so I know, okay, I need to start working out in the gym as well. And then I didn't know what to do. Went to the gym, um, searched up some splits, a five-day split, because now I've gotten to that level, working out five days a week. Searched up a five-day split. And uh, yeah, that started working for me. Literally, literally, that began. But before then, before then, I don't want to jump the story. I want, I want to give you the whole full, full overview. In the new gym as well, this is still pure gym. I, mean, uh, I went to um, one of the PTs, the biggest and strongest PT. Because I thought about it like, if you're going to teach me how to fish and you don't catch any fish, that is dumb. If you're going to teach me how to get fit and you're not fit yourself, that is insane. You have to do what you're preaching. <laughs> so, I went to meet this uh, big buff guy. And I think he charged me, was he 20, 23, 23 pounds an hour. So once again, I worked out a deal with him. That, okay, can we do this? I think I worked out 200 quid and I was making 800 quid then. Uh, can we do 200 quid for the month? And the train man was amazing. He gave me some insights that let me made me to understand that protein was important <laughs> that protein was important that eating junks oh you even went he went extreme i was like no don't eat anything just uh plant protein and plant protein trust me personally i think plant protein doesn't taste nice tastes terrible but it works it does the good work but the taste is ah i drank it and i wanted to throw up the plant protein pea protein to be precise but it's a very, that, that's the thing, it works well, but the taste is not, so I know that was not practical for me because I won't be able to keep that sustainable long term. And um, I did that for a few weeks and I stopped totally. I stopped totally, went back to working out in the gym, in, the, in my room. And then when I was getting more result, uh, when I feel like it or I feel better, I would go to the gym, I work out. And then I began to like work out my own should do what works for me something practical that you could ascend and ascend and keep getting better and keep getting better uh that was when i got to know about progressive overloading that was when i got to know about isometric uh exercises isol isolation literally everything that was when i got to know about them because i started making research and not what people just tell you do this do this they don't tell you why you're doing it drop sets they don't tell you why you're doing it like literally they just do this do this so I started looking into details and how to, and then started getting better. Then, bringing it back to step four, so consistency, then step five. What works for you is what you do. Irrespective of what anybody is saying, anybody, and I mean it, irrespective of what anybody is saying, you have to decide what works for you. Because when you know what works for you, it's imp like, it's, it's almost impossible for you to go wrong. And I'll explain why. Because I started working out in the gym and at home, and that works for me. I go to the gym now, traditionally or normally. But when I don't feel like it, I go to the, I, I work out at home. So still consistent, you have to be consistent. That's the only way you would see results. 
You can walk out today, do 1 million push-ups. You won't see nothing. But if you do 10 push-ups every day, you will see something. But I was working with a 5-day split. Consistent, it's consistency. You have to be consistent with it. You get me? The day they say you're going to work out in a week, whatever happens, make sure you work out on those. That's literally all the criteria you need. Even if you take that alone, you would see results. I promise you. Yeah, so found the hybrid setting in which I work out in the home. I work out at, at the gym and I'm able to mix both of them together. Till date, there are some days I don't feel like going to the gym. Guess what? I walk out in my room <laughs> and it works. Even sometimes I feel I feel way stronger because the exercises I do in my own are a bit a bit on the advanced advanced side because I'm quite advanced with working out in the in the gym. Um so it'll be on the advanced side and it's a bit tough that but then I did not start there, it was little by little. Getting better and getting better and getting better. So I got to that level and this is not one year. That's another thing. You cannot get fit in two months or one month. If you are extremely fat, know that it's going to take like six months or one year. They won't keep lying and telling you, get fit in 30 days, get fit in two, two weeks. I'm, I'm going to say this now once. It is practically impossible because change occurs over time. Like, you can't just be, I mean, change can occur once to be fair. But it can't, getting fit is not once, it's not immediate. Which brings me to my last point. Oh, also, I have a secret, I have a bonus tip for you. But this brings me to my last point. Step six, which is very, 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 very important. Because I don't think people, a lot of people realize this or people know this. Step six, literally, it's never stop. You are, you are not stopping, it's for life. And I will explain why. Our body is rented. You see this body? I think it was on a podcast or something I had that and it's very true. Our body is rented. You rent, no matter how fit you are, it's rented. It's not permanent. You can't get fit for six months and stop. So you need something sustainable, sustainability. You need sustain, something sustainable that would keep you going and going and going for life. Because fitness is for life. Now, I mentioned at the beginning, whether it's... Um, calisthenics you are doing, whether it's swimming, whether it's jump roping, whether it's walking out in the gym. Now, the ones I know, I know walking out in the gym and I know um, walking out at home, that I know. Swimming, I know nothing about. I, I do swim once in a while, but chilling. Jump roping, once in a while. Literally, all sorts of exercises. Man, there's another exercise. The one in there, uh, 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 uh. You get me? All those still get you fit but of course we are we're talking volume now and how much you do it or like whether swimming whether skip roping or whether the other type of exercise how much you do it and um volume i'm sure it has its own nitty-gritty that would get you ripped as well because i've seen swimmers that are chiseled and they it's swimmers it's loads of shit <laughs> and they're still ripped because of course the exercise it's burning the calories more for them. Once again, it's less, move more. You get ripped. It's as simple as that. Don't you don't have to take out the dictionary. But majorly, it's it's continuous. There is no ending to it. It's for life. Welcome to the big leagues. <laughs> oh, also smash that subscribe button. You get me. Uh, if this has helped you massively, yeah, smash the subscribe because then I'll be dropping tips and. Literally, people lie all the time, so I'll be clearing all those up and telling you what it is, as it is, exactly. Reliable information. So yeah, and that would that would help others massively. Uh, pay it forward, you get me? So yeah, it's never ending. You have to continue to do it all the time. Now, I think there's a bonus tip. <laughs> a bonus tip is... Aha. Uh -huh. To get to lose weight, do more cardio. And what I mean by do more cardio, it could be walking instead of taking that over. Walk, run before you do exercise. Do a warm up on the treadmill. You could run for five, ten, five, ten minutes, depending on your capability. You could do the 
Um, if you are in your home, you could do jumping jacks, but you need to warm up, get your body in that burning fat state. And yeah, that goes a long way. I think that's it for this video. Um,